How do you send an email in Gmail? If this is your first time logging in, you probably won't see very much here in your Gmail account. However, there's a big blue compose message in the upper left. So we click that big blue message or button, I should say, and we get this little compose window. And so this is where you can write your email. This will be from your name and your email address. So that will already pop up. And then you're going to select who you're sending it to. So maybe I'm sending this email to the contact at pixelandbracket.com email address. So we can click on that. The next line, actually before we get to that, you can also CC or BCC recipients. So if there's people you want to attach to this uh, but not actually send it to, then you can actually do that there. Then the subject line would be, of course, you know, whatever you want to write. So how to write an email. After that, we're going to write the message in here. Now, you probably won't see any signature pop up like I have in here. And so I'll turn that off really quick. So you'll see this blank area and you can start writing your email however you want. From there at the bottom, we have some other options. So we have formatting options here. You might not see it pop up, but we can pop it up just like that. And these formatting options allow you to change the font. And so what you would want to do is highlight anything that's already written. And you can change the font just like that. You can change the size of the font. You can also add bold uh, words or bold everything if you want. Uh, you can just highlight by clicking and dragging certain words. So we could bold a certain word. There's italics, there's underline, there's also the text color. And so maybe I want to change my name to this blue color. We could do that. And so you can highlight whatever and change the text color. You also have background color, which is like highlighting. And so if I wanted to click and drag on details and also highlight it with a big yellow highlight, I could do that on the background color for that word. Now this is getting kind of crazy, right? But this is how you can write an email and all the different options. We also have alignment options. So if you want to center anything in your email, you can use these alignment options. You can do numbered lists and bullet points really easily by highlighting whatever you want to use for bullets. You can also click on more options where you can indent. And so you can indent certain sections of your email. You can add quotes, which would add this cool little quote effect to your email. So if you highlight something and click on quote, adds a little line and kind of bumps it out there. And anything you do here, there's also undo and redo buttons. So if you do some stuff and you don't want it, you can just quickly undo whatever it is you've done. Uh, there's also strike through and then you can remove all formatting quick and easy too just by clicking that and so it goes back to the original default format so we've removed all that stuff that we added now down here at the bottom other than formatting and writing your email you can attach files and so if you have anything you want to attach images uh, any sort of file you can attach that you can also insert links so if you wanted a piece of text to actually link to something, you could type in a web URL and that text will be clickable. You can insert emojis. And so you could add in an emoji just like that into your email. Uh, I'm going to undo that really quick. And then you could also insert files using your Google Drive. You can insert photos. So you can have an attachment that's a photo, so it's at the bottom of the email, or if you want a photo in the middle of the email, kind of click wherever you want to put it and then go to insert photo where you can upload photos or search for photos on your Google Photos, even add photos from a URL. And so that's how you can add a photo in there. There's a confidential email mode, so if you want to send confidential email, you can do that. And then signature, I have videos on how to add signatures, but once you do have them added, you can click on this and select which signature to add in, and it will add that in to the very bottom, or you can select no signature, and it should delete it. It didn't, so we're going to delete it on our own, but that's how you can remove or add signatures. This little option is GPT for Gmail, which is an add-on. I have another video on how to add GPT uh, for Gmail, so you could have that where it can help you write emails. And then the last option here is three little dots where you can kind of go to a full screen mode. Uh, you can add a label to this email. 
Um, and there's some other options here, checking spelling, etc. So normally when you're writing a Gmail, it's going to be in this little box down here. You can actually minimize this, but keep it up as a little tab. If you're kind of writing emails and then going back and forth between what you're doing, maybe saving it for later, that's not necessarily the same as saving it as a draft. Uh, it's sort of already a draft until you send it, so it's always going to be saved. But you can minimize it and still have this tab down here that you could click back on and pull that back up. You can also full screen it. And so if we click on that, it kind of gives us this full screen look uh, to where we can easily work with our email, especially if it's a bigger email or a longer email uh, with lots of different parts. If you want to delete this email, um, you can discard this draft so it won't save to your drafts. And then finally, in the lower left is a send option. Now there's an arrow where you can schedule the send. So if you want to send it later, you can, or you can just press send and that will send the email. In the lower left, you have about five seconds to click this undo button if you want to undo sending the message. And it also gives you the option to view the message. So we can click on that and we can view the message that we just sent. And that is how you can send emails. Now, if you closed out of the email that you were writing, and you don't know how to get back to it and you wrote a bunch of stuff, you can actually get to your drafts over here on the left hand side. Down here you should see this drafts. If not, click on the more drop down and you should find drafts. When we click on drafts, you'll see a bunch of emails that you've started, um, including whatever the most recent one is. And so whatever that email is, you know, we sent the one just now, but if we were still writing it and we accidentally closed out of it, that will be here in your drafts. Even if you start writing just a tiny message, it's gonna be saved in your drafts and you can get back to it and find it pretty easily. And so, you know, you're not gonna lose your email that you've spent a bunch of time writing. It's always gonna be in your drafts here in Gmail. Now, if you want to find the email that you just sent, so we have our inbox, we have our drafts, we also have our send or sent folder and that sent folder is also over here on the left so we can click on that and see what emails we have sent and so we just sent this one and we can click into it very easily to get back to that message and so we could reply to this email we could forward this along we could do a lot of different things uh, until someone else replies and then you have a conversation going where you can reply and go back and forth but once you do receive that uh, you can hit this reply button if they email you back and it's going to open up the same type of window. It's either going to open it like we saw before or it's going to open it right here within the email itself, allowing us to write whatever message we want. And you can always adjust that by popping out the reply, which puts that in the window that we're used to. And then we can even do the full screen version, right? And so that's how you can really navigate to write emails easily in the Gmail app.